Okay, this is the Kia Telluride, and as you know, I've done a quick review of this vehicle. I'm Brian with New Car Spin, and we are going to off-road the Telluride right now. And inside the car is a rep from Kia, so let's uh, see who this person is and see what he can tell us about it. Hey, how you doing? Great. I'm Brian. Brian Neil Dunlop. Nice and to meet you. Neil, nice to meet you. So this is the new Telluride. We're going to off-road it. Ready? Yes. Okay, yeah. let's do that. I actually drove this car a couple weeks ago. I liked it a lot. Where, where'd you drive it? The uh, Auto Roundup. Okay, yep. So it'll be great to off-road this. And did it have the 20-inch wheels on it with the street tires? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I put 18-inch wheels on because I wanted to put ATs on this, all-terrain tires. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have um, the 20-inchers. And because you can't, the profile was too high, we couldn't find an all-terrain tire to fit in the wheel well. Okay. These are actually Sorrento wheels on here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, that AC feels so yeah, good. Doesn't it? <laughs> it it only says uh, it's in the 70s outside, but it's really humid, yeah. so it's it's kicking in. Um, all right. So this is the basically the the same equipped car. It's an SX, right? Yep. So we have. Uh, it's not real wood. No, but okay. You know what? It's so good that the question begs the question. And people can't tell the why would you yeah what does it matter well you did a good job on it <laughs> yeah. so you fooled me right. so um we're gonna off-road this doesn't have four-wheel low but it does have a lot of features yeah and you can lock um lock it up so it's with 25 percent power okay to tool, uh, each of the wheels okay and uh which of those oops which of those um buttons do we use for all this uh you just press the center to lock it up and you can turn this to change the drive modes okay so, uh it's been doing fine in the uh comfort mode um let me just turn the fan down here because i think it's messing with the camera sure uh there we go okay so in the in the modes does it show up here yeah when you turn this dial uh you get it yeah okay okay Cool. And this shows up too on the top bar there. There you go. Okay. So I've seen your commercials where this thing's off roading and stuff. So mm -hmm. this is this is a car that's made for that as well as just hauling everybody and being yep. a great SUV. seven seats or eight seats to the bench in the back. I'm in the second row. You can get make it eight seats. Okay. This one has the captain chair. So that's an option on the SX? Yep. Okay. You get bench on all of them. Okay. Well, uh, I'll let you hold this camera, of course, and then I will put my seatbelt on and we'll head to the trail. Get this thing a little dirty. How about that? Yeah, dirtier. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been doing great out there. I'm actually surprised that we built it so capable. Let me just check out here. Sure. Number hey, six. BG number six. Got it. Thanks. Here. The Shriners on the job. <laughs> so this has the 3.6 liters? 3.8, I believe it is. 3.8, okay. Yeah, just shy of 300 horsepower and about the same in torque. Um, 291, I think. And um, the way the four wheel drive works is it's torque vectoring? Yes. Okay. Break, break based right so um it'll break the wheel without power and direct it to the to the other wheels okay that that need the power this is pretty smooth so far yeah I gotta say it's impressive okay so we're gonna head down into this oh, and for the price point i mean we're, and we're finding we're selling a lot of these and, and you you know it's flying off the basically off the transports oh yeah right. you guys have already sold over 8,000 of them in two months. Yeah, I think we're almost at 10 now. Jeez. And so it's, um, we're finding that people are buying the top of the line one for 47, which is the most you can spend. And our conclusion from that is they're shopping against cars that cost a lot more. Exactly. Uh, right. Because a smart shopper will say, well, why would I pay 60 or 65 when I can get, in some cases, more equipment for 47? Let's open it up a little bit here. Yeah. 
Yeah, it just sends the power to wheels. You can feel it working it out. And we were on three wheels at one point. It, it, it wasn't bothered. Not, not on this ride, of course, on a different one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go through this washboard stuff. What's that? Oh, it's your knee. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> embracing myself. All right, here's the mud pit. <laughs> I hope it fills up. It was full yesterday when I got here. All right, so. The line looks still to be the right. I would take this right line. Yeah. And you know at the end there to take right. a little left, yeah. a little left and then take a right. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't go right out of the pud puddle here. Oh, I see it's getting splashed up and down and through. Mm -hmm. It goes down this culvert. The thing about video on all on uh, off-road is it flattens out the terrain. You can't tell how aggressive the trail is right. on a video. Photography does the same thing. Yeah, well, you know, from the outside, it, it's a lot different. But on right. uh, on my channel here, we're doing an unedited video. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to shoot the whole experience and then maybe do a walk around mm -hmm. and uh, call it a day. But this is the this is a, in addition to the oh, it looks a little deeper on this side. Oh, yeah, um, still beats that right side. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do um, the off road experience here and uh -huh. then and then we'll talk about some of the features on a walk around. Sure. I do I mean, like the the vehicle like it it seems very capable of working out electronically. I would I would compare this to the Honda Passport that I drove. Mhm. Mm uh the Honda has a different type of torque vectoring. Mhm. Mm and um this one though is behaving differently in a better way. Mhm. Mm because you it's able to put the power down better. Okay. Uh, um, oh, that's good. The other one was a nine-speed transmission. Wow, what, what's this one? Eight-speed. I should know that off the top of my head because <laughs> we have a bunch of different transmissions. This is it eight or because I I think it's eight still. Okay. Yeah, not nine. Because this isn't not this is not a brand new engine. This is the same engine that carried over from before. No, uh, you can go left. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can do the whole Monty here. No, this is a new engine. It is? Okay. Yes. Oh, there's a phone sliding around or something in there. Somebody left something in a, in, yeah, in a door pocket back there. I don't know what it is. The power down. Yeah, now you got to step on it. And at the top, stay left. No, oh, I think we just grounded out. Yeah. You got to carry some speed through there. You'll be fine. It just wants power that, through there. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll go. Uh... I think you can go a little left, and when you get to the top, um, when you get to the top, you can um, we'll, we'll go stay. a little go a little left. Okay. Yeah. I'm just worried about that little. Uh stick out there but i'll stay as close to that as possible it's just this right, right corner i want to get away from it okay yeah yeah stay in it now and now go a little left there we go all right that was a challenge i like that yeah the funny thing is the uh passport grounded out there too oh yeah well <laughs> the, you know once you put go in that right rut you know i th i think we're at eight eight in eight inches Okay. 8.2, maybe 8.3 of clearance. So, you know, when some of those trucks dig those ruts, it becomes a little harder. Nice. Well, if we can, let's park this right here and do a quick walk around. Sure. Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Oops, not that set. There we go. I'll pop the hood too. All right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, nice and dirty. <laughs> there it is. Looks like luggage. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's lower into the compartment, lower center of gravity. It's not bad. And uh, we already talked about the horsepower and the eight. Yeah. So what are the features that we have on this vehicle as far as like the trim level? We have uh, front camera. Yes. Radar. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, stop and go. Cruise control, right? This has actually 20 uh, 8S features on it. Um, you know, advanced driver assistance systems, which is the most of any Kia. Okay. And uh, and more, most of any Kia and in its class. You know, crazy stuff. Rear exit exit. Uh, rear exit assist will lock the back doors if someone tries to open them and a car is coming down the side like a kid in the back seat. Okay. Right then through the back door. So the ones that are normal and you know the rest of them, if you know. And what you didn't see when you can try when you get back in is when you hit the uh, signal in the center instrument panel, the middle of it, the screen about that big, is a view of the blind spot on the oh, other side. Oh, let's go check that out. Oh, I love that. So you're saying, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you put on the right blinker and then that camera comes on. Yeah. When that camera is inside the mirror? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. Real, uh, Another thing I like too is this driver talk. If you have kids, yeah. you hit this, now talk. Talking. Oh, yeah, I can hear it back there. So you don't have to yell at your kids. I, that's <laughs> one of my favorite features. Isn't yelling the good part? No. No? no okay. You, you don't. You know, you don't just you just say in a quiet voice, don't make me turn this car or I'll stop this car. You know, it's much more menacing. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I, I just want to get one at home for the sheer purpose of having my kids misbehave in the back so I can talk to them. Right. The voice of God. <laughs> okay. There's another, uh, when, you, when you're listening to music, you can also, and your kids are doing something else and complain. You can bring uh, push a button and it'll only play at the front of the vehicle too. Okay. So you can listen to your podcast or whatever your kids can, or you can listen to Yacht Rock, which I like and my kids hate, you know. Oh, yeah. 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 You want me to hold that or are you okay? I, I got this. Yeah, We're just, just going to go gone. 10 feet here. That would be good. So I got to say, it feels uh, very competitive to the Honda Passport. Mm -hmm. uh, we did get stuck in the same spot, which is funny. Number six is back. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And uh, what's the price on this? 47? 47. You can't pay more than 47. That's okay. fully loaded. So you top out a 47 period. Yeah. That's and worth... starts around 30. 30. Okay. Yeah. Now, in terms, of, in terms of equipment, I don't know exactly what the Passport has, but I mean, I'm not sure it has heated and cooled seats in the second row and in the first row. Okay. Uh, or 20 advanced driver safe assistance systems mm -hmm. uh, or as much space right you know and room yeah what we'll do is we'll park it we'll go and look at the in the uh, cargo area for a second sure and then uh, I think we'll call that a video yeah all right I'll leave a run into the AC yeah down. thank you Of course, who's seen the back seat in my other video? And yeah, you can get a bench in uh, any trim level too. Okay. Yeah. And so these easily. Oh yeah, wouldn't be easier. Nice. So you imagine with those uh, buckets back. Yeah. There's quite a bit of space. And then does it have a spare tire? Yeah. The wheel down. Um, it's underneath. Full. Okay. Rotate it's, it out. It's a donut, but it's uh, it's a real tire. Okay. And a power uh, power trunk. Yes. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, Neil. Oh, my pleasure. All right, have a good one. Thank you. Your turn. All right, that was the tell you right off road. I would say a lot like the passport. Uh, price differences are there, but um, if you don't really off road, then what's the difference, right? So it just comes down to the interior features and the design. Uh, it's it's uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends and um
thing next. We'll do the Rolls Royce Cullinan. We want to take that off-road. When that person comes back, we'll see if we can get this dirtier than it already is. Thanks for watching.